Hey guys, welcome to my channel, it's Clary Bay, Clary Bay Sanctuary, where you can come for um, just videos on peace, love, healing, and growth. So welcome again, and I'm so excited to be touching in with you guys today, um, meeting up with you. What we're going to do today is a little bit of a question and answer uh, session for the Divine Masculine. We're talking about Divine Masculine energy. What is the Divine Masculine energy uh, telling us? telling itself what is just the, the general energy um, this can be read this can be watched this video can be watched in a lot of different ways you can um, I think most people will click on it and watch it because they're watching their their partner their twin flame or whatever and they're trying to see what's going on with him but don't limit yourself to that because especially with twin flames because you are so connected because you are basically one put into do, you know, you actually are able to um, learn a lot from the energy that they're putting off. And it's, it's shadow work, basically, is all it is. <laughs> you know, you do that with anybody, but with your divine partner, with your twin flame, it's going to be such a more uh, potent experience for you to spend some time kind of researching, if you will, and like understanding the energies of that person because it also relates to you. Because, you know, it's kind of like you get what you give. You are what you, I don't say you are what you eat. <laughs> but you're, you're going to be projecting to each other messages that are helpful. And again, that goes with anybody. But if we're seeing, if we're looking, we, all, we also can look at the divine masculine within ourselves. Because again, as so within, so within as without, um, or however you want to say that. I always butcher it. It's so funny. And then as soon as I turn the camera off, I can say it perfectly. <laughs> so we have, we all have, you know, it's the microcosm and the macrocosm. We all have that inside of us. We all have the yin and the yang. We all have the masculine and the <clears throat> and the feminine. So this, you might want to watch it twice. You might want to watch it in different ways. Just keep it in mind as you're watching it that this could be, and however it resonates with you. It could be your your masculine of your person. It could be the, the masculine side of what you're going through right now too. So just wanted to throw that out there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. We're going to pull some overlying energy cards. Ooh, mountain goat. There's something out of balance in your life. So do whatever you need to correct it. Okay, so this is a message from our divine masculine. Um, and so, you know, the divine masculine is probably feeling that way in some way, shape, or form. But also, again, is a message to us as well. So if you if you hear my verbology throughout this, I would say that verbology, is that even a word? <laughs> you hear my words throughout this video and I keep jumping back between like how I'm saying it, you know, the energy is this. If I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. If I'm talking to the divine masculine, it's all, just know that it's all from the divine masculine energy that's coming out today. So, and today is September 2nd. We just had a new moon, and I think people are still kind of dealing with the uh, reverberations, I guess, of that new moon, and I'm actually uploading a video as we speak about that. Hope you guys check that out. Courage. This is such a masculine thing. Um, Archangel Ariel, well, not necessarily. And, and when I say masculine, I hope you guys know I'm not talking about male, female. We're talking about the energies within, not just like, and the energies within the relationship as well, not just like, you know, sex, gender, etc. So be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Okay, this is important. I'm feeling this energy. I'm feeling a lot of blue too. So it's like getting higher, getting more spiritual, getting being being wise right now. Okay, being courageous. Taking a look and not just looking away at what has to happen, but like being honest, being and facing it head on. Okay, that's what this being courageous is about. Okay. Courageous, strong. Divine feminines can be just as mask as masculine as a uh, courageous as the divine feminine, but it's important to keep in mind. Got this a lot this month. Well, last month I guess it is as of now. Conclusions are within reach, within reach. So that means you can reach out and grab them if you want them. Sometimes we get so stuck, and then we're like why everything's happening to me but it's it's ours it's within our reach so that says to me there's something blocking you know it's kind of like how the trees are like blocking the view something maybe you know not something huge but maybe some things and some different things are blocking what you want right now okay so keep that in mind 
So the first read we're going to do here in this kind of Q&A, this Divine Masculine Q&A, we're just going to look at the past to current energy, okay? What is the past to current energy of the Divine Masculine that we need to know about right now, okay? Past to current energy, Divine Masculine. Ooh, a little bit scattered. Trying, trying to start anew, trying to move forward, but it's like, again, there's something blocking us. There's a little, it's not a huge block right now, which is good, okay? But our energy is not all positive here right now. And underlying energy, their mind is on love, okay? Their mind is on getting everything right, getting everything together, getting the family, the kids, the, you know, the... Um, the extended family, the job, the everything, just like put it all together. So a big happy family. Like that is some of the underlying energy. And like also getting control of your emotions to control your life. And also making this physical process, okay? Making this, um, excuse me, not physical process. <laughs> making this journey. You know, like that's all on our mind. But that's not necessarily what is actually happening. Because I'm feeling that the divine masculine energy is feeling a little bit stuck right now. It just hasn't, it's just, it's like it knows what to do. It's thinking about what to do. It's planning out what to do. But as far as actually taking that step and doing it, we're like, ugh. It's like we're dragging our feet. Our feet are stuck in mud. Or the divine masculine's feet are stuck in mud. Or that part of us is stuck in mud. And um, there's probably an Im imbalance right now in our lives. Okay, this is a... Uh, not surprising energy coming from wrapping up summer. A lot of people get caught up in this and that in summer and, you know, get a little bit wild, get a little bit out there, get a little bit crazy, you know, do things they wouldn't normally do in the midst of winter, you know. And it's kind of a little bit of, oh, you know, what am I doing? You know, what, what's going on? Like, all of a sudden I'm waking up and I don't even know where I am. Not literally. But, you know, it's like, what have I been doing with my days? And where am I going from here? Like, I know I'm, I, I know we're moving. I know we're going forward, but are we going backwards? Are we going forward? Like, I don't know. It's kind of like, we don't know exactly where we want our mind to be. It's a little bit of this immature energy of, what do I do? Like, what do I do? Maybe kind of at a standstill. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of standstill energy. And this is past, again, this is past to current energy, okay? So all of this kind of stagnation is causing us some worry, is what I'm is what I'm seeing, okay? So I don't think I'm going to clarify that. I think I'm just going to keep on going here. And so our next question to the Divine Masculine is, what is our present and near future energy, okay? Near future energy. What is happening right now and in, the, in this week? Like, what is our energy this week? What is the Divine Masculine energy this week? Okay. Let's see. Let's just take a peek. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so a lot more movement here. Okay. A lot of focusing on the shadow work, focusing on the partnership. Um, it's like back to the basics, back to what really makes us motivated. It's kind of like we're gaining our motivation back and like our our spark for living like our spark for you know what makes it what makes us feel creative what makes us really feel fired up for life I feel like right now and it's just it's gonna be kind of a little bit more peaceful calming energy I feel like than it has been in the recent past okay but just keeping your eyes open and the divine masculine is again it's like it's wanting to move, it's wanting to move, and then it feels like things are gonna start moving. Something's gonna happen here, okay? And it's gonna move into a good place. It's gonna move as, and we're still working with these, this whole cycle of new beginnings. This whole cycle of new beginnings from August, actually from the whole summer through next year. Like, we're talking about enlightenment here. We're talking about all the pieces coming together for you in your life and for your divine masculine. Okay, a lot of this is about getting our thinking straight, though. I mean, that's the first step. That's always the first step. So what have we got here? The Divine Masculine energy is wanting to go so bad. It's wanting to take every action on every idea and everything. But we can't take, you can't take action on them all. You can't take action on every single idea. You have to figure out which one is worth moving forward with and the way you do that is to see which one is emotionally resonating with you at any time so again still kind of this decisive energy but it's clearing up because we are figuring out like what do we really want to happen with this situation 
What do we really want to birth? What do we what do we want to put out there into the world? Like what do we want our mark to be? The divine masculine is dealing with this right now. Okay? And a lot of it is going to come to fruition from doing the inner work. Okay? This this inner work, the inner child work, the healing work, the digging deep, the law of attraction type of stuff, this is all going to help you when you do that work, when you take the time to, you know, watch some videos and focus on yourself and what is really like meaningful in life, then you, then you figure it out. Then you know what you want to do, but it's, it's about, I mean, like our emotions are here for a reason and our divine masculine really needs, and the, again, the divine masculine energy inside of us needs to utilize the emotional side in order to kind of fulfill the law of attraction that we want, that we want to see in the world right now. So it's about going within, it's about listening to your feelings, it's about examining your feelings. There's got to be at any given moment, there's got to be one thing that's bugging you in some way, shape or form. Even if you're completely happy you and you feel great that day, you know, you can come through and look through and say, hey, in a calm moment, what is bugging me about my past? What is bugging me about my person? You know, surely you can find something. <laughs> and that can always help, again, shine the light on the inside and what you need to do. Okay? So, again, near future. Still dealing with a lot of change. Our mind, our minds are still creating a lot of change. Okay? We have our sights set on something, but is it the right thing? Is it is what we're actually focusing on and paying attention to this week and this month or whatever, whatever you're watching this time is fluid. Um, is that really helping us to start our new journey? To start our new beginning? It's all about new beginnings right now. Like real new beginnings. And I feel like we want it. It's there. It's coming. It's like, again, it's, it's right within reach. It's just like there's something that is, is keeping us from fully seeing it or utilizing it or making it happen. Okay, maybe we're like trying to protect ourselves. Maybe we're kind of in this feeling where like, you know, just stinking thinking, like negative thinking, not wanting to kind of do the work and look inward and not wanting to see how great our lives really are. You know what I mean? But you can have this new beginning. You can open your eyes to everything that you were, you know, all of the underlying stuff. Like the divine masculine really needs to go inward and shut out a lot of distractions. I feel like there's just like, like TV is coming up to be like a big one. Like a lot of distractions right now. And we cannot, this is not the time. Coming up until the next two weeks, September 13th, this is not the time to be wallowing, to be uh, in your comfort zone. We need, there's a lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of karmic stuff going on. And it's like, we're going to be judged in two weeks and whatever we're, whatever uh, Saturn wakes up and sees us at, bam, that's what we're going to get for the next 10 years. So this is a really crucial time to do this work. And the divine masculine, I feel like, you know, I mean, if they don't know that, then they're not going to, you know, they might still be feeling it underneath, underlying, and they may be really feeling like, okay, I need to make this change. I need to start this new cycle. But why, why you have to examine yourself. You can't blame, you can't do any of that. You have to look at yourself. You have to look at yourself openly and honestly as well. And know that the divine is helping you. I'm getting a lot of, I mean, this is just like, you are being helped. You are every sign. If you're missing the signs, then please, you know, just like, they're there. Just know that and just start looking for them and start knowing it's fun. Like, again, it's going to make you feel good when you do this work. Okay. We're getting the page of swords energy again. Okay. Still got those messengers up there. I mean, it's all, it's all clear. Look within, look within. That's how you're going to move forward. If you don't look within right now, if you don't go within, you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere for whatever you want with whatever you want with your, um, with your goals, with your plans, with your dreams, with your hopes. You have to look within first. You have to stop being negative. You have to stop focusing on the negative. You have to focus on what you want. What you focus on flourishes. Divine masculine and divine feminine. But I feel like eventually we are going to get this together. Okay. We have our vision is getting clearer of what we want. 
And that has to happen. You have to know your why or you're not gonna follow through with the steps. If you don't have a clear why, a clear what, want, etc., it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna know what you want. You're not gonna know why you're doing all this work. You're not gonna do the work because you're not gonna know what you want. Why would you do work if you don't even know if there's a paycheck coming? Okay, we may be still going through some shit. This, this beginning of September, like it may not be that easy, but we will find balance and we can get back with our person. Even if you think it's hopeless right now, doing this work is what you have to do. It's like jump away from anything that you were doing and cut. It's like cut it all away because you know what you want. You know, you know what's really, you know what's really important to you. Your friends, your family, your love, your, your twin flame. Making enough money to put food on the table. Like this is, you know, that's all you really need is the bare basics and the bare bones. But you need to also keep getting better. And you need to keep things balanced. And you need to live in a way in which, you know, your karma is creating positive things for you in your life. It's very clear and very decisive. There's good and there's bad. I mean, yeah, people are like, oh, yeah. What about this? What about this? But overall throughout our daily lives, we know what we want. We have the courage to show up and go up and reach out for what we want. And honestly, if the conclusions are right there, just reaching out sometimes takes some courage. And we need to get ourselves back in this balance. Okay? A little bit out of balance. But but we're going to get it and we're going to come to it and we're going to take steps towards and this is really it's it's interesting cuz you have like the 10 of pentacles right in the middle of the tower moment and then the 4 of wands and it's like okay well what is this trying to say well sometimes it's like you may feel like you're on top of the world and then oh shit what is this i thought i was doing so great like what is this tower moment about and that's it's nothing like don't uh, be what am i trying to say here don't be tempted to say, oh, well, what I was doing wasn't working. That must have all been fake because I'm not in a better place now. Remember, healing is not linear. It's not like, okay, I got to here. Now, the next time I'll be here and the next day I'll be here. No, it's not about that. You can make so much um, efforts and have so much fruit of your efforts and know that you're doing the right thing and then go back and have a big tower moment even if it's huge even if it's a bigger tower moment that you've had in a long time sometimes that actually speaks the opposite of what you might think it says that you are actually going somewhere and you're actually digging deeper and you're actually getting to the deeper wounds that you need to heal okay and you have to do that work you have to have the tower moments before you can get to you know the next milestone basically is what is what I'm gathering here okay pretty clear I think so what's next clear okay how DM sees his self again and I'm saying his self this could be the divine masculine could be a female could be any other gender we are just dealing with the masculine of the relationship or the masculine side of your feelings right now. Okay? So again, how Divine Masculine is seeing himself right now. Okay? Ooh. Yikes. Okay. Wow. Okay. The Divine Masculine is working. Again, this flip-flop energy, I feel like, is coming. It's like, okay, in one moment, I feel on top of the world. I feel like I'm like doing really well. I feel like I'm getting ahead. I'm going higher. I'm focusing on my spiritual side. I'm doing the law of attraction work. I'm doing, you know, learning about tarot, astrology, whatever it is. And I'm like doing so well and rising higher. But on the other hand, it's like, why? Again, why, why am I feeling this way? Why am I still feeling this way? Like, why haven't I been able to take steps out of this situation? Why am I still stuck here? Why? And it just worries. And it, it, again, it just shows up so much doubt. Where, again, if we could just see, if we could just open our eyes and see that the conclusions are within our reach. We don't need to be. Divine Masculine doesn't need to be doing this. You know, but it is all about, again, it's a lot of back and forth, kind of flip-flopping energy here. And again, you notice we have some of the same cards here. Page of Cups energy. Tower moment fell on the floor. <laughs> We're going to be putting a lot of the tower moments behind. But again, don't expect them to just be lost. They're not going to get lost. They're going to come back. 
we always have a new tower moment. We always have some um, evolving to do. But right now we are a little bit out of balance and stuck and that's just what this has to, that's just what we have to deal with. Again, don't focus on all the negatives. Don't focus on being stuck. Don't, don't repeat to people. A lot of times when we go through our lives, it's like, oh, How's it going? Well, you know, I'm just feeling so blah, 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 and da, 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 and complain, complain, energy, and you don't want to, it's not that you need to hide your, that side and be fake, but what you want to put forth as your, as your energy that you're putting out needs to be positive, okay? It really does. It needs to be positive, and it need, you need to keep it on moving and not being stuck in these old ways. Just, I mean, the past, whew, I'm just getting like, Close the door on the past. It is not what you think it is. And it's not, I'm not saying close the door on any one person or on your person or on um, this or that, but the past in general and all the drama, the cycles of going from this to that to that and again and do it over and over again, this toxic cycle stuff. That's not you. That's not you anymore, but your mind is still kind of stuck in that energy. So get your mind out of that energy and again, this was about how the divine masculine sees himself. So he sees himself as stuck, as why, as why am I not here? Why am I not at this level? Why am I not doing more? Well, how am I not further evolved, you know, with my partner or whatever? And then it's kind of almost like this flippant energy of, ah, who cares? Fuck it. You know, uh, let's just have fun. You know, let's just do whatever. And, and, and who cares about the future? And, um, you know, it is what it is. If that's how they're seeing themselves, um, I would just recommend just keep on going inward, keep on going higher, and that's going to create these new beginnings to where you can kind of shuck off this old energy that has just been following you around and following your masculine around for so long, okay? So now we're going to look at how the DM sees the DF, okay? How the DM sees the DF at this point. Oh, got some backwards. How the DM sees the DF. Ooh, very busy. Very busy. Maybe not giving in to uh, everything that the Divine Masculine wants to see from the Divine Feminine right now. Um, seeing as strong, though, and a lot of lustful feelings, a lot of passion um, towards the DF. But again, there's this blockage. There's this thing. There's something is out of balance. The goat is stubborn and it's not moving. It's like he's got up into a high part of the, of the mountain and he's just like, how do I get down? What am I doing? Like, am I going to go up? Am I going to go down? Am I going to stay here for the rest of my life? Like, out of balance. This is not a place where it's comfortable, where it's going to stay. You know, things are changing. Things are moving. The divine feminine, um, the divine masculine is picking up that the divine feminine is making a lot of changes right now. And I fully believe that is true. A lot of changes, a lot of actions going on. Um, the divine, this is actually very deep that the divine masculine is picking this energy up, but I love it. Um, the divine masculine is feeling from the divine feminine, you know, that uh, there's maybe some inner conflict going on. You know, there's some, there's some, there's some shit going on with the divine feminine right now, but also the divine masculine kind of wants to come in and be that knight in shining armor and like kind of save the divine feminine. Um, but also knows, I think that the divine feminine needs to kind of learn how to, you know, handle everything herself and control it herself. And that's how, um, you really truly come together, you know, because the whole like, oh, knight in sh shining armor, like coming to save the divine feminine from their problems is never going to work because the divine feminine has to figure out her issues and her stance and her everything like on her own. Okay, so it's almost like the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine wants to help out the Divine Feminine. And they want to like comfort them and they want to, um, they just want to be there. You know, they want to like step in and help comfort and like save them. But they also know that that's not their place right now. They also know that the Divine Feminine is just doing so much growth and so much growing and healing that that's not their place. So how do how does the divine masculine see the relationship? How does the divine masculine see the relationship between the divine masculine and the divine feminine? How does the divine masculine see the relationship? Perfect. 
All right. The relationship in the fine masculine's eyes. Oh boy. Hmm. You feel like it's moving forward, which is interesting because we have this out of balance kind of stuck energy everywhere else. So I feel like in the mind of the divine masculine, that is where we're really moving forward. We really have this great passion, this almost like just exuberant thinking about it. But still kind of almost running from the situation. Let me get some clarifications on this actually. Let's clarify this, the Knight of Swords here. for how the Divine Masculine sees the relationship. Obviously the relationship is changing and not only just the relationship is changing, but the way that the Divine Masculine is looking at the relationship is absolutely changing. Yeah, 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 totally. Okay, we'll sit here. So Divine Masculine, Again, a lot's changing, like the winds of change are blowing. We know this is a time that we wanna look and figure this out and focus on it and make a plan. We're still like, oh, this is, that stuck energy is still here. We wanna move, our mind says move, but in our actions, we are still stuck. The divine, the divine masculine is still stuck. And the relationship together, because again, this is about both of you guys together. This is about both of us together. Okay, we, we so want to be, the Divine Masculine so wants to move forward to a happy place. They want to have all of that celebration, all of that love, all of those happy times, all of that passion and action happening. But, like, why is it not here yet? Because we haven't quite left where we were. We haven't quite leveled up. And it is emotional and it is letting go. The, the, the emotional piece is the letting go. Let go of all the good that you thought. Like, don't be afraid. Sorry. Don't be afraid to make movement. Don't be afraid to leave things behind. Just because you leave certain things behind, certain habits, certain actions, certain feelings, certain this, doesn't mean that you're not going to be with your person. Don't be afraid. Okay? So what else have we got here? How does the relationship look? So it's almost like there's kind of some uncertainty here. Like one person maybe wants to rush in, one person's a little hesitant, not just making the other person be like, wait, I'm like, I don't know. This energy is just kind of, again, it's kind of stuck and stagnant, kind of an imbalance. But you both are thinking about the past. You both are thinking about the good times and the good moments. You both really wanna have it all and you wanna have it all together, but you're like, why, how? Like, how is this going to happen? The toxic cycle is like in your mind. It's it's on your mind. It's It just seems to make things impossible at some times. But if you can forgive and look at your partner as a child, then you're going to be 10 steps ahead. Because we're all children. We're all, we're all born naked. We're all, you know, unknowing. We're all unknowing. We're all like innocent when it comes down to it. It's all just what happens to us that really defines us and helps us become who we are. And so if we become these negative beings, you know, that's because we had negative people ahead of us doing negative things to us. But we can clear that out. We can cancel all of that out with this inner with this inner work. And by, you know, in change, we can like listen to our, our guides, our angels, our energies tune in, you know, listen to these videos, do the work, do the tarot, do the inner healing, the switch work, shadow work and inner child healing. Rise higher, you'll be able to change those emotions to be able to get new, to, to be able to get new things. So overall, like, this is how the divine, remember, this is how the divine masculine is seeing the relationship, okay? So he does, he is kind of seeing that um, innocent side to the relationship, and the fact that it could be really, really healthy, um, but it's kind of like weighing out the health versus, you know, the toxicity of it. Okay? It's kind of weighing it out. 
kind of figuring out how the, how that's real, how that works in reality. But again, it's minds, emotions, and then reality. So you've really got to wrap your head around it. And the fine masculine is still wrapping his head around the emotions and wrapping his head around the relationship and then wrapping his emotions around the relationship. So there's still a lot of work, I think, like being done right now, maybe even without, like even if the divine masculine isn't like working um, physically, like mentally saying, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Like they're doing work through the divine masculine that is also doing work. Okay. When the divine feminine does work, it bleeds over and it may be like, what's going on? Like why? The divine masculine's like, why? Why is this not going as I planned? You know, why are we not Gra grasping what we want to grasp right now because I feel like we're just not there we're just not where we want to be and the divine masculine maybe was thinking this would be better you know I'm like why why is this not better like why how is this not great right now like if it, sometimes we have the you know we start to doubt things and we block ourselves off to different things because it's like oh well if that's true you know like how can that be you know, isn't a relationship supposed to be perfect? Aren't you supposed to have like all of this perfect energy? It's like, no, you have the courage to be yourself. Have the courage to be different. Have the courage to have a relationship that is meeting you inside your soul where you need to be met. And that's what it's all about. It's about knowing that anything that happens, especially within this relationship, is for you and for the inner. Because in the inside, the twin flames are connected. They're connected. So it's hard, you know, when you're when you're disconnected, it can be hard. It can be really tempted. You can be really tempted to focus. And the divine masculine feels like, you know, they would want to just have everything, but then they have to deal with this. It's like they have to almost turn their back on their relationship right now, or or that the divine feminine maybe is doing that, um, shutting out the goodness, the good times that could be had right now. But why? But just know that it's for the higher good. Okay, it's for the higher good. It's for the not only the higher good of you and your partner, but the higher good of everybody watching you and knowing what you're going through. You know, don't doubt for a second that love is not inspiring. Love is like our deepest passion and it's what we want. You know, it's what everybody really wants deep down. Even people who are like cynics and say they don't, they do. They do. They just don't know if they can handle it or this and that. Okay. So... What is blocking? What exactly? Let's just let's go a little bit deeper into what is like actually blocking this relationship right now. What are the blocks that need to be undone right now? Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Again, seeing wanting everything to be perfect. Everything is not gonna be perfect right now. Okay, it's just not. Wanting to have this picturesque idea of, oh, well, that happened, so that's not my person, or that happened, so we're never going to make it, and this, and this, and this. Look at the Page of Swords again. <laughs> that is so awesome. And the, oh, wow, yeah. This is great. I love it. That's how energy goes. It's like, here, I'm going to show you, and show you, and show you, and we're going to get here. This is, what is blocking us is our ideas, again, that it has to be perfect, that we have to have everything together before we move forward. You don't have to have everything together before you do your inner child work. You don't have to have everything together before you um, allow yourself to fall deeper in love with this person and like be vulnerable. Like you don't have to, everything doesn't have to be perfect. So stop thinking it does. We're again, out of balance. Like the justice and the temperance is just like, something is not in balance right now. You have to have the, the courage to start anew and you have to know that you're closer than you think. You're really closer than you think. You're kind of like, oh, kind of being a little bit nostalgic, thinking about the past, but you know you have to move forward. You know you have to move forward to the future. You just have to take a step and do it. Take a step and do it. When we feel out of balance, it's like all you want is that balance. All you want is that balance. And sometimes we do different things to like try to get ourselves back into that balance. But those things, you know, don't get desperate about it. Just be positive. Just bubble your bliss and find like what... Well, here, before I start giving advice, our next question is, what needs to happen to overcome those blockages? What needs to happen in this relationship in order to overcome these blockages? Okay. Oh, yeah. Got to be strong. Got to be strong. Got to overcome this lust factor. Like, yeah, sex is great with your partner. Sex is great with your person. But... If it's not ready, if it's not the right time, then maybe pulling back is is best. 
And maybe you just need to follow through right now with with really grasping that strength and really coming through on that strength. I'm getting a lot of divine feminine energy here, really taking control of the situation. Because, I mean, I don't want to be like, okay, divine masculines will like take, 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 and, you know, walk all over somebody. Because that's not the energy, that's not what I'm trying to say. But it's kind of human nature to kind of, oh, you give an inch, they take a mile. So um, make sure that you're not letting people walk all over you right now. Make sure you're not being that doormat. Make sure you're shining your strength nicely, sweetly, caringly, unconditional, lovingly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this is you. This is what, you know, because because you are really, you are the leader and you have, you know, you're the one who knows what's going on. The divine feminine is the one who knows about, you know, the twin flame energy and that's why you're here and you're trying to better yourself and trying to do all this great work so you can just get to a great place and to where, you know, it's not just like, oh, people will notice, but it will be obvious, you know, to everyone and to your partner and it'll be able to kind of get past some of this negative stinking thinking energy that is just like lingering around. Holy crap. Holy crap. What needs to happen? What needs to happen here? Yeah, the work is going to help you. And the, just to stop worrying. I mean, no, 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 like, stop worrying. Okay, that's going to really just like happen. So many thoughts right now. Like so many thoughts that aren't serving us. Like way too many. This is part of the blockage. This is part of the imbalance. You need to do some meditation. You need to focus on what's important. You need to focus on, you need to like have that one thing that is important right now and focus on it like above everything else. Okay, take a rest, take a rest, take a break. Distractions a lot of times will block us from seeing, can block our thoughts from like seeing what is necessary. Taking that rest, taking that meditation time to actually evaluate, to actually like let the new stuff bubble up, let the old stuff float away. I just can't say like do the work, do the work, do the work. Okay, you may have, I just, we got to let things go. We got to let things go. Your person is not the actions that they've done. Remember that. Neither are you. Your person is not the actions that they've done any more than you are. You are not every action that you've ever done in your life. So don't hold other people to standards that you can't also live with. And just look at the positive. Just, just stay positive. Look at the, I mean, eat what feels good, truly feels good, you know, participate in what feels good think about what feels good you know feel what feels good like I know everybody's busy you've got a lot going on but you have to take that time out for yourself you have to take that time out for yourself get yourself back in balance get your thoughts right get control of your thoughts right now and if that means putting up sticky notes in every form you know but it's going to take some time to figure out what to write on the dang sticky note what do we, what do we focus on you know we've got all these negative thoughts well Start with the negative thoughts. Do the shadow work on the negative thoughts. You have a negative thought. Oh, so-and-so has done this. So-and-so did this in the past. How can I trust them when they did that? Well, you take that thing. You could do it on paper and pencil, whatever. You can say, so-and-so, my partner, my person, whatever, does this. That annoys me. You know, just like the top of the page, like what so-and-so does to annoy me. And then you write a list. Just let it flow. Like there's no right and wrong let anything even want to do it on a video so that you can just speak and let it flow and then go back and take notes on the video and then you go through each thought this is the work that i'm talking about this is shadow work you just go through and you're like okay so and so is doing this how am i doing this how are they not doing this how are they doing this so if they're like let's say you're mad because they're not contacting you so then you say, they're, con they're not contacting me. I'm not contacting them. They are contacting me. I am contacting them. You flip it in every way you can and then see the truth in all sides. Be like, you'll be like, well, they actually, they did contact me. Maybe they're not so closed off, you know, or they're like, maybe I'm the one who's actually either expecting them to be closed off or am also doing that myself. It helps you to kind of gauge where you're at and to kind of see the reality. Because again, just like with these uh, inner child moments where we make these assumptions and we have these beliefs that are formed based on 
erroneous conclusions and just emotional things that happen to us as kids. Like we come to these again, erroneous conclusions. We're still doing that even though we're not children. So we, we need to take the time to look at it. And that's going to change our lives profoundly and help us go into the next phase. So that is what I got to say about that. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and close the video because I feel like that was really potent. I feel like if if I if you glossed over it and you weren't paying attention, rewind and go watch that again. Um, again, conclusions are within reach, okay? Be courageous. Stand up for your beliefs. There's something out of balance in your life to do whatever you need to do to correct it. And again, that takes some time to like figure out you may have to go off by yourself, maybe in nature, do whatever, figure out how to correct it. You, you have this. You've got this. Like I have full power in you and you are supported. You are so supported. So that's how you can really be courageous. Even if you don't feel courageous in yourself, you know that you are, you have your ancestors, you have your angels, you have the energies and the spirits. And this just popped out at the end. So a good note to end on here. Okay. You can have what you want. What you want is in reach, guys. It is. It's probably a hell of a lot closer than you think. You just have to be welcoming. You just have to open the arms to receive. Basically, you have to drop all the drama, all the swords, all the thoughts that you're carrying around, the negative stinking thinking. Drop it down. Let it go. And then you'll be able to move forward into what you want. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. I want to know if you guys like this type of format where it's like a question and answer, or like a bunch of different things um, that we're talking about DM or I'll do it also for DF as well. Um, like I said, just let me know. I'm so excited to hear what you think and take care and stay subbed. I will be doing lots and lots and lots of videos coming up soon. This is my absolute passion and you know, it helps me as much as it helps anybody else. So um, we're all in this together. So much love, many blessings. Take care, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.